So I know it hasn't been too long since I first introduced the Sega Press and my dream of having a Darkstalkers cabinet. But one of the fun things about Japanese candy cabs is the fact that you can make them whatever you want. Uh, recently I got in all new art, some new buttons, uh, and I'm going to turn this in, into a Guilty Gear Strive cabinet. Uh, and we're going to say goodbye to Halloween for a little while. Uh, I'll probably turn it back during Halloween again to Darkstalkers, uh, just because I really like the effect of it. Um, so we're going to change some buttons and stuff and see how it turns out. I'm going to start off by actually changing the controls. Uh, so we're going to replace the buttons, a little bit of part of the stick itself. Uh, this is already a new Sanwa JLX, the newest iteration of their JLF, which is found most commonly in a lot of arcade sticks. Uh, currently I have it with the Nobi Bubble Top uh, Smoked Black, uh, or Bullet Top as some people refer these to. It's kind of a nice mix, especially for somebody like me who's coming from a uh, more of a bat top player than I am a ball top. So we're going to replace it with a red bullet top and then replace the dust, dust washer with this limited edition Guilty Gear uh, dust washer here. Uh, this actually has about, uh, I think, four or five versions of this with different characters on it. But for the most part, it's the same thing. Um, I just decided to go with a couple of the other characters uh, that uh, some of them aren't on the buttons themselves. So, and then we're going to replace five of the buttons with these Guilty Gear Strive limited edition push buttons. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the chippy design or the super deformed design of the characters, but these are the only official Guilty Gear Strive push buttons that Sanwa released. Uh, these are exclusive through Arcade Shock. I'll probably have a link below uh, to those if you're interested. Uh, they have said that once these sell out, that uh, that's it. So yeah, they are kind of pricey. I think they're like $13 a button. So we have uh, Asuka here, Eno. I've got Zato, uh, Milia, and Biken. So we'll do that. And we're gonna do the layout where we're going to replace the first three and then the bottom two here. Uh, for the official layout for Guilty Gear Strive. For us to start this, we're actually gonna have to open the control panel. We do that by coming down here underneath, there's a lock, uh, which turns, uh, hits a switch, and then we can use these guys here at the top, there's two of them, to just simply pull up on the control panel and this whole thing will lift up. Now that we're inside, the only thing we're really going to do is basically what we do with any arcade stick. So we're going to hit these quick disconnects here, just simply pop them off of the push button itself, squeeze the tabs on the push button and push them out, and then drop in the new ones. Uh, for the stick itself, we're just going to hold down here on the shaft, um, hold that in place as we unscrew the uh, top itself. The next part is actually these, uh, well, I guess you can call them an instruction strip or some other uh, marquee advertisement. Uh, there's three screws here I'm going to do, so there's one here, one here. Generally, there's a third one here, but when I put in the Darkstalkers marquee, I ended up losing that screw inside here. Uh, and the only way to get to it is if I undid the speakers and all that and pulled that all apart. I felt that was kind of ridiculous to do. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and swap this one out first.
Now for the top Archie, that's actually pretty easy. Uh, this is just one big LED panel. You reach here in the corner, and you can actually end up sliding that out um, and transfer those. So there we go, uh, project complete. We now have a Guilty Gear Strive cabinet running on the Sega PRAS. Uh, there is a couple things I did notice, like this Repro Marquee does not have the same one I've seen in Japan, which has the Guilty Gear Strive logo down here along the bottom side, which leaves room here to kind of put in like advertisements or notices about like new characters coming. Uh, recently, ABBA was just released. I could probably do the same thing. Um, I have the ability to get that uh, announcement in Japanese, of course. There's no English translation. Uh, and probably put that right here. Uh, just to make it more authentic, as if it was pulled directly from Japan. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. Got the red lights going and everything, and we're running the game just fine. So, uh, thanks for joining me in this little project. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.